Hi everyone, it's Liam with Lovely Scrappin and I'm here with another project. Um, this is a altered dress form um, made using the Graphic 45 Les Romantiques collection and um, I totally got the inspiration for this um, dress form from Miranda, Miss Liberty 25 on YouTube and she is just absolutely amazing you guys. I will post a link to, um, she's done quite a few dress forms but I'll post a link to her tutorial one down below so then um, you can check it out and then um, you can you know look at her channel at the other ones. So thank you so much Miranda for the inspiration girl. Oh my gosh I'm so excited <laughs> to have done this one and um, I added a special little touch to it so I hope you guys like that. So. I also made this for my entry to um, A Thing for Bling. They're doing a contest right now, so I thought it's been a long time since I have entered into a contest, so I thought I would I would do it. So the contest was to alter a, a project or an item or whatever using some lace and trim. So anyways, guys, I hope you can um, get a good idea of what I've done in the pictures that I've taken because this is um, 14 inches tall, so it's really hard to get in frame. So I have to sort of go like this quickly. I'll just give you a quick overview of it and then we'll talk about it. So it's a beautiful open back, hollowed out dress form. Oh, love that idea, Miranda, you're brilliant. And then, um, okay, so we'll start with uh, what I've done first with this was I painted the entire paper mache um, dress form, um, again, that you can get at Michael's um, with just gesso, and then I went over it with black acrylic paint, and then the Crackle Medium by Folk Art, and then antique white acrylic paint. And if you can see some of the effect that it gave there, in the spots that you can see all the crackling. And then after that, I wanted a little bit more black to show, so I sponge painted it with some black um, acrylic paint very lightly with just a little bit on my sponge brush. And then I went over it with a Lay Romantique paper from Graphic 45. I just tore lots of pieces of um, two different sheets, the one with the beautiful roses on it and the leaves, and then this one here. It's kind of a black with this cool sort of a green blue color. I really love those two. So um, I wanted to bring a bit more black into this. So I took that paper. So anyway, I, I randomly put ripped pieces in there that I distressed with vintage photo. So they're sort of all over the um, dress form. And then I did use some to curl open the back. And, um, and then after all the paper was on there, I just sponged it with some gesso just to add a little bit more white to it. Cause I just wanted a bit more like a white look to it. Um, and then I added tons of beautiful Iron Roses embellishments. Um, this gorgeous flower here, which I sprayed with Lindy Stamp Gang, um, Cape Cod Coral, and then went over it with gesso and a bit of vintage photo. This one here was white and I just went over it with um, scintillating, scintillating Silver by Lindy Stamp Gang. Um, added some of that um, fun cheesecloth um, mesh type of material there. It's sort of poking out everywhere. And then I made a um, rolled book page um, rose and um, also made this mini rose here um, using the paper, this paper here and then went over it with gesso. I do have tutorials on both of these flowers you guys. Um, if you're interested I can post the links below and you can watch them. Um, this was a little metal frame from Bead Landing I think it was um, that I just it was silver and I just went over it with some gesso and then added a little cutout from the paper line there and then went over that with a bit of gesso to kind of make it look a little bit more grungy looking and it's just on a little chain and jump rings hanging from the chicken wire and these are the cutouts um, that Miranda, I love how Miranda did these little slices in the um, her tea time dress form and added the wire there so totally inspired by Miranda there I just love that look so it has some um, parts there so you can peek into the dress form um, added some nice chain there. Oh, and I also have a Tim Holtz trinket pin there. Uh, it says trinkets um, 25. And then um, here's a graphic 45 button, a chipboard button. And then um, a cutout from the graphic 45 paper and chicken wire there. Sorry, I'm now going back to the chain. So I added the chain and um, just a little charm right there. And I just glued it in some spots so that it would sort of hold in some places. and angle and others so that it goes all the way around like that and then up in this corner here some more I am rose flowers here and here um, these are bead landing sort of clock spinners um, just touch them with some gesso some more chicken wire popping out here and here um, I cut out these um, leaves from the paper and then I've got more of that mesh material there and I went over sort of everything with gesso um, and then this is just a, a chess piece and I will show you my little added touch to that in a second. 
Um, first we'll go down to here to the laces. So I've got three layers of lace. I've got white and then this beautiful beige and then the black. And I kind of went over that with a bit of gesso too to lighten it a little bit and not make it so strong. And I'll just quickly show you the back. I'll go into that in detail in a second. But again, I did the fold out. I cut this into like a triangle, the paper mache. And um, it was so funny, you guys. It's actually newspaper in there when you cut it out and you look at it. And there was the date. You could see clearly it was like Sunday, October 2011. It was so funny. Um, but anyway, I thought that was pretty cool. You know how old this is. <laughs> so um, anyways, I put some, I crinkled some seam binding black and white and um, touched the black with a bit of gesso to lighten it a little bit. Um, and then added a crochet flower from I Am Roses that I sprayed with Cape Cod Coral and went over with a bit of gesso. And um, so again, I carved out that and then I just took the paper and glued it in there and curled the paper because I couldn't curl the uh, paper mache. It's just, it was too stiff. Um, so, and I'll talk about what's inside in a second. Um, so here I used a glass candle holder like what Miranda used. I love that idea for the stand for the dress form. And I just got that at my dollar store. And um, so again, I got beautiful R21 flower. Um, what was it? I think it was, it was a pink and white two-tone, but I wanted it more of the peach. So I sprayed it with Cape Cod Coral Lindy Spray, but it was too dark. So then I whitewashed it with gesso, then went over it with some gesso again. I made another mini rose there um, out of that paper, but I made it a bit smaller this time, like um, less layers. And I made a mini book page um, flower here. So it's quite tiny compared to the other ones I've done. Um, and then an R21 there in the black that I went over with gesso and a little flower there. Um, and then this was a cutout again from the paper and it's on a memo pin from Tim Holtz. It says Les Romantiques and I distressed the edges and went over it with a bit of gesso, just again with my sponge brush to get that little sort of a speckled look. I love that look. And then a fleur-de-lis here. Went over with a bit of gesso again. Some more chicken wire and I made a little charm here that I got dangling from the chicken wire. And again more of that mesh sort of poking out in random spots. All right, this trim here is just sort of goes all the way around then again that black trim. So now getting to the very back inside. So as I was creating this and putting that little light bulb in there, I thought to myself, oh, wouldn't that be nice if that little light bulb worked? So what I did was I got the idea, light bulb went off in my head, to cut out the head part and stick in an LED light. So I did a ring of Velcro here and then there's all Velcro on the bottom there. I painted it all black so it was all mesh. Okay, so all you do is, um, you can't quite see in there because it's dark right now, but there's this little silver piece, that's the button. You click it and a light comes on. So this entire thing illuminates and it looks so cool in the dark, you guys. And this you just put on when you're done, you know, turning on the light. And the light inside is adhered with Velcro so that you can take it off and um, change the batteries if you need to. So um, again, the, the light just illuminates through all of these um, open um, parts that I sliced. And then of course you can see much better in here. So I really love how that turned out. And it looks again so cool in the dark, you guys. I love it, love it. So anyways, going to the inside, I layered the entire bottom with um, the mesh cheesecloth. And I also painted the inside as much as I could with black acrylic paint and then I paper pieced. I just tore a bunch of that paper line that you can see in there with the polka dots from Les Romantique and just pasted it all inside, um, leaving some you know, of the spots there. And then I fussy cut that picture there. I love that one of the lady there looking at that painting. And then I added an I Am Roses flower there, some chicken wire. Um, here's a Tim Holtz cork vial that I added some pink and white pearl beads in there. Tied some twine around there. And then there's a big R40 in there that I sprayed with the Lindy's Cape Cod Coral and went over it with some gesso. That is some black ruler um, piece I got from the sewing section of Joann's. And then the cameo there that I got from Cassie a long time ago. Thanks so much, Cass. It is a gold frame and I went over it with some gesso just to lighten it up a bit. And then here's a wooden spool that I've put some more lace around, some nice kind of a beige lace. And I've got it sort of wrapped down and then it comes out here. Sorry, my camera's not really focusing. Comes out here and dangles down. And then I've got a little scissor charm here. And then again, the light bulb from Tim Holtz. That, totally inspired me to put the light on in here. So that is um, 
that's the inside you guys um i hope you like it i really really had so much fun making this dress form oh my goodness thank you so much miranda for the inspiration um i had so much fun making it and um yeah so thanks everybody i hope the um a thing for bling enjoys my entry and um yeah please leave a comment you guys i'd love to hear what you think thanks everybody for watching take care bye now